guys. I appreciate, appreciate you guys being here always. Um, thank the crowd. I thought they were great again tonight. Um, obviously, uh, I'm going to give, you know, Brian Kennedy credit. NJIT was good. Uh, we kind of knew quickly those two guys were elite scorers, um, and they played that way today. Uh, I liked us, though, in the second half. I thought we settled down. I thought we got good looks. We, we were really good on the glass. Um, got to get off to better starts. But, uh, you know, again, uh, give NGIT some credit for that, too. They were making some tough shots, too, at first. And, uh, uh, you know, we got to continue now to get on the road in a day and uh, start playing some road games. So we got to step it up and uh, have a great day of prep tomorrow. And then we're off to Chicago. Steve, your team is playing so much better in these second halves. What do you think that's true? Well, I mean, if, uh, you know, the first part, we know now if we're down a half, we can win any game that we play in. So we certainly uh, have figured that out. But, uh, you know, I just think, you, you know, I thought the other day we got good looks in that game. I thought our defense was outstanding against Merrimack 35, the lowest we've held. I thought we kind of in the second half, you know, started really defending the basketball the way it's supposed to and rebounding. And then the ball started going in. Obviously, Geo gave us some good minutes. Ron's third straight double-double, you know. Um, I love the rebounding part of that. And, uh, you know, we got to the free throw line and, you know, kind of just changed the game a little bit. But, you, you know, I'm going to give credit to, you, you know, they were they were ready. They were really good the other night against Lehigh, and then they were good again tonight, too. What did you think of O'Hearn, and what did you do against him to slow him down? He's a good player. I mean, he is a good player, and, boy, can he shoot it from deep. And I've seen him have games like that where he really got it going. He got it going early. I thought that hurt us. I always think with confidence of player that's making him early, you know. But I thought, you know, Caleb did a really good job. It was a hard matchup. It was a hard matchup, and he was quick and fast, and they were doing a lot of – you know, ghost action for him, a lot of different different things for him to get open. But they kind of had it going, and um, you know. But we 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 got guys to sit down and play better defense. We were more alert. We used our length. We got up on ball screens on them, so we kind of made a couple adjustments that way. And then when we when we xed action down the stretch, you know, guys had the different guys had to guard them. Steve, uh, you, you had eight different guys score today, but Gio and Ron combined for over half. When these two guys are rolling on that end of the court, just how much? Better does yeah, I mean, you know, you know, I again I think we're getting good looks by by everybody, but these two guys today, you know, Gio was really had it going. He had a stretch there where I think he made six or seven. How about Gio? Gio usually tells me, Hey coach, run that play for me, you know, he's, <laughs> when he's in the zone like that. Um, but he uh you know, when those two guys are scoring, we're tough. And Ron was going downhill in the second half and getting to the rim and, and posting up and doing the things he could do around the basket. We had a great segment where we just kept getting offensive rebounds and offensive rebounds and offensive rebounds. Kind of, uh, you know, we willed ourselves to a couple baskets there. So, um, you know, good days ahead when, when, they, when they play like that. And I really think our best days are ahead, too, as a basketball team. You talked about rotations using different ones prior to the season. Are you comfortable with the way you're rotating guys in and you get a feel for it? Yeah, I mean, it's been different. You know, we played three really unique teams. You know, one team played us all zone. Um, you know, Lehigh was a drive it to the rim team. And then these guys took uh, 33s or something. So we played three unique styles. Kind of like that because now as we move forward, you know, we're going to face a team that's going to take a ton of threes. We could talk a lot about this game. And then teams that drive it, Lehigh was one of those, and then the zone. So um, unique style, so the rotation isn't perfect yet. And, and guys are figuring it out. These guys played a lot of minutes, but the rest of our rotation is new. Um, you know, so they're figuring it out. And some guys really, you know, like Jaden came in and made a couple of plays for us when we were struggling to score. Um, you know, so we got, we got some pieces on that bench that, that they need to keep coming. And even some guys that didn't check in today have to be ready because I, I trust those guys too that they can do some good stuff for us. Steve, how can you get some of those guys more minutes? It's hard, I guess, when the game's close, but I know you want to play everybody this time of year. Yeah, it's hard. You know, it's hard. It's, um, you know, we're trying to go 3-0. and That was our number one goal today as it was 1-0, and 2-0 to 3-0. and So the we'll, 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 season's long. Just so, you know, all kinds of things happen during the course of the year. We've been kind of fortunate. We haven't been in any foul trouble either. So um, we'll get those guys moving in. Those guys, those guys have been good and they've been patient. And, you know, the, their time will come. Just these guys know how it was when they were younger, too. What do you think of what Ralph gave you in a pinch? He gave us great minutes. I thought he gave us great energy, too. You know, he set great screens. We talked a lot about those kind of things that he can really do for us. He's a big body. Um, you know, he's going to keep getting better and better, too. I like his approach. 
Paul, Paul's been struggling a bit to, to start the season. Just what do you what do you see out of him? And, and there was a moment where, towards the end of the second half, he had a I, I don't remember exactly the play, but the student section starts chanting his name and trying to give him some push. What does that do for a guy when he's in that kind of? Yeah, run? no, Paul's been you know I mean he's been and some good looks. He works his tail off. Um, you know, you sometimes go through stretches like this. I have a lot of faith in Paul. You know, and um, you know, looking forward, he'll he'll make those sh shots, but he still does a lot of things for us. When I watch the tape afterwards, like you know, you know, Caleb, the ball wasn't going in today too. But when you watch the tape, they do a lot of different things, you know, and uh, you know, appreciate what they what they bring, you know. And but some days the ball doesn't go in the basket. Andre seemed to do a lot of little things as well. Can you just talk about his game? Yeah, I mean, Andre's really evolving too, and he's learning, you know to play different spots too, as we sub him in at all kinds of different positions. And he's a good worker. You know, he could shoot the ball. Um, he could get to the rim. Does a good job of rebounding. He could score around the basket. So he's kind of unique. He's kind of a three level, three level guy. And he plays with some poise and he'll block some shots. He'll do some stuff. He's got some emergency defense in him. So I like the way he's developing. He's gonna, you know, obviously be a nice piece for us. Steve, you mentioned the beginning of the fall on Thursday. It's the first true road game you guys play in a year and a half, almost two years. Yeah. Uh, I guess what, what do you think that's going to be like, and how do you kind of how do you have an experience group? Yeah. yeah, I mean we have four experienced guys. They know how hard it is to go on the road and win games, and and uh, you know uh, we'll, we'll be excited about it. We know what the challenges are. Every road trip is going to be very difficult. You know this year we know our league, how playing on the road in our league is. There's going to be fans there, and. Um, you know, I think having the fans back here too. I think it took a little time to get used to, and and I think these guys are starting to settle in too with with that a lot more, you know, chaos in their lives and a lot more ticket requests and a lot more stuff going on. But we still got to stay focused on what we do. And when you go on the road, you got to be even twice as focused. Not to put on the spot after after a game, but the last time you guys went to DePaul was your first year. Uh, it's been a long time and a lot of progress made since then. Have you allowed yourself, you know, in this past year or so, to reflect on? just how far the program has come in that time to where you guys are now. What I'm most proud of is, you know, another sellout, you know, today. But, you know, I don't spend a lot of time on the pass, right, Gio? We're on to DePaul as soon as the game ended today. And, you know, they're going to be huge. They're putting up huge numbers. So our defense will be tested at every level. But, you know, we're uh, there's not a lot of time to think about that. But I'm proud of these guys. Graduate, going to be a graduate already in grad school. Uh, I'm proud that, you know, fans come out and support. Our team, I'm thankful that you guys are here. Um, you know, so we, 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 we've come a long way, but, you know, we, we got a long way to go. You guys need, need these guys? All right, you got it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you being here.